Hello everybody, today's video is all about feeding our cows or a change in feeding our cows. Uh, so regular viewers will remember last year or for the last two years we have grown wheat. Uh, in 2022 we grew spring wheat uh, and in, in 2022, autumn of 22, we plowed winter wheat for harvest, originally intended for whole crop harvest, uh, but we ended up taking it through and combining it dry. Uh, and all winter we have been feeding that as rolled wheat to the cows and also our beef stores. Um, so because we've been feeding it more, because of the extra cattle on it, uh, we've actually run out partway through the winter. So we have had to find a different product to feed the cows once the wheat ran out. And that is what we have got behind us in the trailer now. So let's tip it out uh, and see what it is. So this is it, this is crimped maize grain. Okay, so there's lots and lots of forage maize grown in the UK. Um, there is some grain maize. Um, and this is, so this is combined about two weeks after uh, maize will be made into silage. Uh, the grain is ripe and about 30-ish percent moisture content. So that is too damp for storage, like your cereals, you wanna be 14%. So this is over double that. And crimp it to smash the grain, um, put an inoculant on it and clamp it. And that preserves, as you can tell, preserves perfectly. So in the UK, maize grain for storing, you know, dry grain, it simply will not, you know, we don't have the climate to get dry maize grain in the UK. Um, but this is, uh, the harvest of this can drag on, it can get into December. Um, but because they, they, they need to keep it moist anyway, uh, for this process so take a close look everything or oh, every grain has gone through a crimper been broken smashed up because if a grain goes through a cow without being broken if you feed a feed a cow an unbroken grain it'll just pass straight through to digestion and um, over this is all broken and the cow can access the nutrients in here and make good use of them so as this is a high moisture that feed, it does need sheeting. You can see he's pressed the bucket down on the top uh, to try and compress the surface a bit. I have walked, treaded up and down the back corner there just to compress the top surface again, just to keep the air out. Now we're gonna sheet it over. Um, this will last us about two weeks and then we'll get some fresh. So it's always fresh uh, and this is made about 10 miles from here. So we haven't got to go far to go and get it. And uh, we just get enough, get trailer loaded at a time as and when we need it. 
So maize grain, like forage maize, uh, is a high starch, is a high energy, high starch feed. Um, this is more concentrated than maize silage, being just the grain. Uh, so we feed it at lower levels. Um, and it is ideal for milk production. And you can feed it to fattening cattle as well, uh, but we're just feeding it to milking cows at about three and a half kilos a day. Yes, and they do very well on it. So there we go, all fed out and they are all munching away. So, the maize. <coughs> so cows are, as you saw, cows are on a little bit of fodder beet. They're having a kilo of fodder beet. Uh, that's all we can get away with this winter. We said, uh, we said in the beet harvesting video, oh, a month ago I expect, uh, we were having awful trouble trying to feed it. Uh, they are one, they, so they are on one kilo per day each. Uh, normally we'd be up like seven or eight kilos of fodder beet so we still haven't found out what's wrong with the beet uh, it is being tested uh, people are looking into it but we haven't had the answers back yet but anyway so they're on a little bit of beet uh, the maize and grass silage and the maize mixes in very nicely disappears into the silage and they, they can't sort it out uh, the, the beet they would the beet you won't find a bit of beet in here now that is within reach of the cows they will have picked all that out first but the maize stays mixed in and that they will still be eating maize first thing tomorrow before we feed out again it will stay there but fodder beet is gone already so that's the downside of fodder beet they do pick it out very very quickly anyway so that is it that is our new feeding regime to finish off the winter uh, the crimped maize to replace our rolled homegrown rolled wheat so there we go just a little quick one for you today nice and short so i would say thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time today's video is about uh, feeding our cows um, so